With the introduction of the cut Halo Online map Waterfall coming to Halo 3 on the MCC, this opens the door to so many more possibilities for Halo 3 content in the coming seasons for the MCC. We're talking more maps, weapons, and customization, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again, giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, I'll make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. But with a new MCC flight still scheduled to come out this Thursday on the 18th of February, it's got me very excited about the potential of new content coming into the MCC because we're getting a whole new map that we've never seen before in, this, in the public when it comes to Halo Online maps coming in to Halo 3, which really, I feel like, opens the door so much for tons of more content to come in to the MCC version of Halo 3. We originally saw this crossover happening with Halo 3 with the Recon Slayer playlist, bringing in the Silence SMG and the Halo 3 ODST Magnum in there as well. And then with Season 5, they brought in some Halo Online armors. I personally like the option, some people didn't, but they brought in a toggle, which is great. Now they're bringing in a whole freaking map that we've never seen before from Halo Online into Halo 3 called Waterfall, which is going to take part in this upcoming flight. So I'll definitely will be making content on this channel about that map, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. So to me, this opens the possibilities for so much more content coming into the game and just kind of take a deeper dive into what stuff we could see from Halo Online coming in to the MCC. Because we have some fully fledged out modeled maps that we never got a chance to play around with the El Dorito mod. But I wanted to showcase that, some of the weapons and just other features that Halo Online had to offer that could come over to the MCC. As I mentioned previously, here is the map Waterfall coming in from Halo Online into Halo 3. Now we only have two screenshots of this map so far, but previously all we really had were some concept art that was being shared around online. And as you can see from the concept art here, it looked quite different than what we got in the finished product. Um, but you can kind of see like it's kind of set out like on some kind of moon-like structure that's like in the middle of like some hydroelectric dam of some sort or something like that. Here's the other screenshot that we currently have of it. Uh, no sign of like flowing water or anything very cold and well this is kind of what we have. I wanted to preface that right now that we only had screenshots before the reveal from 343 about this because there are some amazing screenshots of some really cool potential Halo Online maps. Because this looks freaking awesome. What this is, is some concept art that we had of the like Halo 3 version that we would see of Lockout within Halo Online. Uh, you can definitely see that it's much more like a, kind of much more of a 343 style forerunner structures that we have along with this. You know, big influence from Haven and more uh, recent art style with this, but to me it just looks freaking cool. And I can imagine like being able to chance to play Lockout in Halo 3. Well, that would be pretty exciting. A proper version, because we have Blackout, yes, but this to me looks way more interesting than Blackout. Though all we have are just concept art of this map, though previously all we have was concept art of Waterfall and we're getting that map in MCC. Here's another map that I'd be extremely surprised to not see come into the MCC, and this map is called Skybridge. This is a BTB style map that's kind of set on top of a skyscraper right here, but it's like, it's completely modeled out. Like, it's in the game. Like, these are... 3D in-game renders of what the environment would look like. So knowing that this kind of content is currently within the possible realms of the coming into the game, because this is probably like some low-hanging fruit that we could see coming into the MCC that, you know, all the work is already done for the most part. Obviously, it takes some effort to port something over properly for the masses to get around and play. This was originally cut content that didn't make it into the game, but like I said, like the work has kind of already been done, so I'd be extremely surprised to not see this come into the game. I'm sure many of you have seen this one. This is a remake of Avalanche brought into Halo Online called Diamondback, which is essentially almost a one-to-one -one recreation. Not exactly, but pretty dang close to it. Much more deserty kind of look to it. Just going with the exact opposite feel of how uh, Avalanche plays out. This one I would maybe, might be able to see, but it would be a bit redundant having two of the same map within the uh, rotational plays, because I'm sure there's gonna be people in you know Halo 3 that only want to play the original version of Avalanche and don't really care to play like this sandy kind of deserty version of it. So this one maybe come back just because um, it's obviously like it's fully playable. That's what we got a chance to play in Halo, the El Dorito mod. But you know, obviously 
The redundancy would probably the only, be the only thing holding it back from coming into the game. Or maybe if 343 finds a way to divide the rotational of Avalanche in half and have a Dusty version and the Snow version be playable, that certainly could be a thing. Uh, just There's multiple ways they could go about doing this if they're going to bring this map into the game. Personally, I would like it just to change the scenery. It would be just kind of fun just to have this version in Halo 3. The rest of the, some of this content I'll go over briefly because it's really small mentions, but this is the cut content from Halo Online mentioned on Halopedia. Link in the description down below, guys, if you want to check it out. Uh, we have a tutorial mission kind of set up right here. I doubt this would come in, but this has been kind of a cool like social area. Uh, it looks like it is been has been modeled out according to this link right here. As you can see that it definitely looks like it's a fully rendered out model. Obviously, maybe a little bit more crude than you would like to see in Halo 3, but it's there. Apparently, there's some evidence of a cold storage remake, which you guys remember from Halo 3 right there. Apparently, it's a bit much more of a Covenant themed remake of the map Chill Out slash Cold Storage. Within the game files, they have a map called Dry Dock right here, which they mentioned it's kind of something involved with high charity or some kind of place like that. Uh, this could be possible. I mean, it depends how much, uh, how fleshed out the level is. I mean, previously, like I said, Waterfall, we only had concept art previously as well. Like the, there's Lockout that I showed you guys earlier. There's apparently also a Powerhouse remake from Halo Reach coming in, possibly, with this. Again, there is no uh, visual evidence of this, but they found it in the game files as well. They also talk about Firefight maps. We might be able to get some new content coming in that way, or maybe just been some content that was put into Halo Online, saying that there are some texturing files, re reference file names, of several ODST and Halo Reach firefight maps. So it, it is unknown if they are simply leftover assets in the engine from those games or whether firefight was planned game mode intended to be coming into the Halo Online game. Now, another thing you're probably asking is, will we see the weapons from Halo Online come into Halo 3 on the MTC? And that one is kind of iffy. As you can see, the battle rifle that they used in Halo Online is the Halo 4 version. Now you could import the Halo 3 version, so possibly we could see this version of the battle rifle come into the Halo 3 MCC. I doubt it, but you can't rule it out though because you could import the original Halo 3 and Halo Reach models into Halo Online as well. But there's some crazy unique looking weapons that are in Halo Online that would be kind of an interesting thing to bring into for Halo 3 on the MCC. And we have the DMR variations from Halo 4 being brought into the game as well. That, which, that would be certainly an, an interesting look right there. Here's a screenshot of the weapon customization here. As you can see, there were definitely different variations of this single assault rifle and each one had their own differences like bigger mag, uh, the kind of more sniping sni silencer kind of version. They had higher damage versions and a lot of different kind of variations. Very similar to say like what we saw for Halo 5 when it came here to its weapon customization or just weapon variants as well. I mean, just as in depth with Halo Online. If we could see that coming into Halo 3, that would be kind of interesting. Could it work? Possibly, though I do think some of the animations may or may not line up. Again, this kind of just depends on 343 and how they implement these different kinds of bits of Halo Online content into MCC. And obviously with Season 5, we had some armor customization come into MCC as well. I really enjoy some of these new options, and there's plenty of more to pull from from Halo Online. You can see some examples right here of just different kind of armor sets that are just, you know, these are in the game right now, and you we could possibly pull these out and bring them in. Now they much more are like Halo 4 influence. A lot of these armor sets are kind of precursor kind of armor sets to what Halo 4 had to offer. As you can see, some of these armor sets are rather eccentric and futuristic looking, not exactly falling in line with classic Halo 3. Though from what we saw in the recent Season 5 trailer that we have for MCC, they showcase some armor customization and this armor set is nowhere to be found in the game right now. So I would still suspect to see some more Halo Online armor sets coming into the MCC at some point or another. They might have just been saving this for Season 6, kind of stretching out the content, keeping it interesting for people to kind of jump in and hopefully grind out the game a little bit more. So right now, this is what I would suspect to have more content coming into the MCC, most likely involving Halo 3 content, as this is kind of like the low-hanging fruit to kind of call it some way, where it's just already made it just needs to be poured in maybe tweaking a few things to kind of make sure it can work and i'm no game developer but i think this would be some of the easier content to bring into the mcc to get people excitement about playing mcc because i have a feeling this year you might see a bit of a downward trend when it comes to popularity as there are no new games coming to the mcc on pc this year so what's something that can kind of keep people excited to keep jumping back in and playing 
one, more customization for your Halo Spartan, which will love the customization, and more maps. We have a new map, Waterfall, coming in for Season 6. I guarantee I'll be making some videos breaking that whole level down once we actually get a ch chance to jump in and play. So if you guys like these news and informational videos or been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. i got links to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.